Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. My name is Martin Warwick and we're reporting from Barcelona in Spain. I'm talking this time with Kerry Bailey, who is the SVP of Cloud Sales with HP. Kerry, welcome. What benefits do you think the cloud holds for telecommunications companies? You know, the benefits for the telecommunication companies or, or the CSPs, it, it's, it's monumental now. But if I broke it down just to a few things, I would start off and tell you revenue. Okay, We did a survey of about 100 of the CTOs and CIOs in the top tier one and tier twos. Their number one issue was revenue. So what it does for revenue is, as you know, there's a lot of over-the-top providers. They've come in, they've generated a lot of revenue that you would think would sit in the heart of the CSP, right? Mm -hmm. but, but they haven't been able to, the telecoms haven't been able to be flexible enough in their infrastructure to grab that revenue. Their system's too slow to get there, too locked in. So cloud will open up a big, big revenue stream for them. It will also allow them to compete with the OTT providers. And I think the third thing it's going to do is it's going to really unlock the value of these networks. Right? We, for 100 years, we've built massive telecom systems around the world. That can't go by the wayside of OTT. This is going to help them really be able to unlock the value of their network. Now, before you were at HP, mm -hmm. you were at Verizon, at the sharp end of telecoms. Yeah, where Verizon, it really indeed. Is. You're dealing with subscribers, you're dealing with the technology, you're dealing with all, you know, the whole, the whole thing. You got it. I'd like to ask you, where do you think cloud intersects with HP's open NFV? Yep. And where does HP Cloud Solutions come into play? Yeah, so you bring up a great point. So if you think about kind of two worlds here for a second, you think about kind of cloud or what was happening in, within the data center. Okay, then you talk about the telecoms, the CSPs that were creating services with their infrastructure. The reality right now, Martin, is new style is cloud, and the way that the infrastructure was built for telecom companies to deliver services was really kind of the traditional way, right? So the intersection is gonna, going to come into place as the infrastructure that enables these networks, enables CSPs to roll out new services, as it becomes to be less proprietary, more flexible, more scalable, better cost efficiencies, when that NFE program comes to reality and those network features are virtualized, you now can see cloud services quickly be able to come into the CSPs and they can begin to make revenue a lot faster, compete with the over-the-top providers. There was some data that came out in, in Europe here a few months ago that said the over-the-top providers are about four times more products launched than the traditional CSPs. Or the days to launch a product, 50 days for an over-the-top provider versus 200, right? So NFV is going to provide you know, this, this agility and speed and, and a lower cost to be able to connect to these cloud services and bring them together. So how far away are we from the actual use of NFE in the network to enable customers and operators to do more things more quickly? Yeah, this is, I will tell you, this is the biggest change in the infrastructure area for telecoms that we've seen. It is going, it is, it is starting now. There are customers that have been in our labs right now that are testing these new network features in a virtualized world. But ultimately, you're going to see those new features coming out you know, this year, and then it'll, it'll maybe over two years, two and a half years, you'll see it really hit scale. And by the way, if you followed what happened within the data center of how traditional IT stacks became virtualized sure. and then cloud enabled, yep. you're going to see that time frame happen for the telecoms as well. Okay. How is HP uh, investing in and expanding its enterprise cloud portfolio to support the needs that carriers have? Yeah, I'll tell you, one of the reasons why I joined HP four years ago, because when Meg says new style of IT, the entire company understands that the ground has shifted underneath all of our feet. In the enterprise space, the CSP space, it has is, it is shifted dramatically. You have to think new style of IT. So from HP, cloud and NFV, that is our single most, you know, largest investment in the company this year. So we are working on these NFV products, our open labs for customers to come in and test with, our, our software development around cloud system and, and all of our cloud portfolios that we have. So we think cloud first at HP and all of those systems and solutions we have from the technology to the software to the services around our portfolio and including now NFV, top priority for us. 
tell us more about HP Cloud System then. Yeah, that's great. So Cloud System is the number one private cloud out in the, in the world right now. And Cloud System was really built on the core of something we call Cloud OS and it's OpenStack. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that HP's heritage has been is open systems. Whether it was bringing you know, Linux into the data center or x86 into the data center, we've always lived this heritage of open. Cloud system at its base is a complete stack from the technology infrastructure at the network layer, the server layer, all of the software to, to run a cloud and packaged all together over 2,000 of them around the world that CSPs and enterprises can operate cloud systems fast, you know, with agility in those pieces. What are the benefits that telcos get of partnering with HP for their cloud developments? I mean, yep. you are not the only one in the world. There That's are right. other suppliers out there. What's the difference? Kim? That's right. Uh, I'll tell you a couple of very simple things. One of them is that when you look at HP, we're, we're not just a software company. We're not just a hardware company. We're not just services. We understand what the new style of IT solutions are, okay? NFV and cloud are the two areas that really exemplifies exactly what we mean solutions for the market. So when you look at our infrastructure that we provide, our openness of that infrastructure, our cloud OS based system that we run NFV on, and you take it all the way up the stack, we offer that solution, but by the way, open for what the customer needs. We're not saying that's going to be proprietary. There's no lock-in when you come to us, right? The other one is that we have a heritage in the telecom industry, right? Over 5,000 specialists around the world right now partnering in the telecom industry with solutions that we have. So it's, it's a complete set of solutions that are open that gives a customer a choice of what's right for their business. And you know, with HP, you've got a choice of what you want, how you want it delivered, you've got the consistency of, of how we deliver around SLAs and, and just the confidence of HP. We've got a uh, you know, significant amount of interest in this space and making sure our customers are successful. Kerry Bailey, thank you very much indeed. Great, thanks Martin.